first was introduced in 531 in Persia from India during the reign of Khusrau Nushirwan. From the very beginning, it was considered to be the most complex puzzle, and people enjoyed playing it against each other. As time passed and machines came into existence, humans wanted to explore what a machine could do at its best. And chess was decided as the benchmark to test the intelligence and problem-solving skills of a machine. The first ever trial was made in 1769 when the Hungarian engineer Baron Wolfgang built a chess-playing machine for the amusement of the Austrian queen Maria Theresia. It was a mechanical device shaped like a trunk. Naturally, its outstanding playing strength was supplied by a chess master, cleverly hidden inside the device. The technology advanced and computers were invented. Scientists wanted to know computers' maximum power. In this regard, an experiment was done on one of the first supercomputers, Maniac, which was built in 1946. For the correct shape of implosion charges of the chain reaction in an atomic weapon. Maniac was needed as this process requires a large amount of calculations. A chess program was being written for this computer. It was for a 6x6 reduced board without bishops. Also, the program used to need 12 minutes to search to a depth of 4 ply. In chess programming, the main problem is the very large number of continuations involved. In an average position, there are about 40 legal moves. And an average game lasts 40 moves. And in such a game, the number of potential positions are 10 to the power of 128 which is larger than the number of atoms in the known universe, which is 10 to the power of 80. Till that time, it was clear that no computer or any other machine would solve the game by looking at all possible continuations. The first try was made by Ken Thompson, a computer scientist who built a special purpose machine only for playing chess. It was called Bell. It was able to search 180,000 positions per second and it won all computer tournaments from 1980 to 1983. Then came the Deep Blue. The IBM computer developed only for playing chess. It played a series of games against the greatest grandmaster of chess history, Gary Kasparov, in 1997, and claimed the win of machine over humanity. Deep Blue contained 256 specialized chess processors that do nothing except play chess. It's used to calculate 200 million positions per second. Hydra is the brainchild of Ken Thompson. He contacted Chessbase in 2000 to see if someone was interested to build the Deep Blue version 3. Chessbase chose Dr. Krilly Doninger and the actual work started in October 2000. Hydra is a special program. It's the success, uh, successor of Deep Blue. Deep Blue was the uh, program of IBM who beat the human champion uh, Kari Kasper of the first time and Hydra is the successor and the goal of Hydra is to make an unbeatable chess monster. On October the 5th, 2001, the program made its first move. After that, it started participating in different tournaments and got good results in a very short time. As the idea was to develop the Deep Blue, the program had to be parallel. The work started on that and in April 2003, a full parallel version was ready. In January 2004, the power group of companies, an Abu Dhabi-based group, took over the project and put the right people in the team and got the fastest hardware for their chess project. Hydra is the successor of chess project previously named Protus and technically it is the successor of IBM computer Deep Blue. It composed of a software part and a specialized hardware part. The use of a specialized hardware is because it searches very fast. 
and it's all calculations when you talk about computer chess. Right now, the Hydra computer is a 16 processor cluster with 16 FPGA cards, which are capable of calculating 40 million positions per second. Hydra participated in a number of tournaments in 2004, starting from IPCCC, which was held in Paderborn, Germany in February. Hydra won against all other chess programs and made a draw only against Freda. Uh, I understood that Hydra is currently probably the, the best chess program, uh, maybe a little bit ahead of the currently best PC program, so I uh, like, okay, the best of them. PC programs are Junior, Shredder and Fritz basically and so and Hydra is probably a bit ahead of these programs I would say because of its better hardware and uh, okay so I sort of knew what to expect I mean I understood that if I would play this program it would be very hard to beat it it would uh, um, I would need a con um, constant concentration actually to beat the program and okay so when I played this match here in Paderborn, okay, I was, was supported by a computer, another computer program, and so it was much more easier for me to play against this program. In April, the international CSVN tournament was held in the Netherlands, which is one of the most serious tournaments of computer chess. Almost all the chess programs participate in this tournament. Hydra was placed second after Shredder. For Shredder, it's, I think it's, it's um, difficult to find real weaknesses where you say, I have to play this and this against Shredder and then I have good chances. Um, I think it's, it's, it's very balanced. It's technically very strong, but also positionally it's, it's, it's quite strong. So if, if you play against Shredder, it's, it's hard to prepare because you have to play in a way. On August the 14th, the Abu Dhabi Chess Festival was held in the UAE. Hydra decided to make the final move against the man and machines. It played a match of four games against Grandmaster Vladimirov and outclassed the Grandmaster with a score of 3.5 out of 4. This was the first encounter of Hydra against human and no one knew how it would behave. But Hydra really played very strong and won against the Grandmaster. Hydra made an early attack in the game and Shredder didn't understand the position and was of the impression that it's a good position for Black. But when it understood the position, it was too late. Hydra didn't give any chance of attack to Shredder and destroyed the center held by Shredder and Shredder lost. The score was 2-0 and Shredder was in deep trouble. Shredder changed its opening and applied the same idea of Hydra's attack. But Hydra didn't make any mistakes and the game was a draw, which was a good result for Shredder. Shredder came again with change in the opening from E4 to D4, as Hydra is good against E4. But Hydra handles this opening very well. Shredder chose the opening for a draw. A very nice game from Shredder, with a good opening as well. Hydra played a little bit passively, but didn't make a mistake to give Shredder any chance to take over. This game was a draw as well. Shredder played a very sharp opening. But Hydra handled it very well and held the center. Shredder found a move in the end game to make a draw. Shredder's idea of opening was to attack the center. It was an excellent game from Hydra and gave the impression that the attack would be from the queen side. But it attacked from the king side and won the game. From the beginning, Hydra didn't allow Shredder to invade. So the opening was very sharp. Hydra kept the game very simple, and that ended in a draw. Hydra as a chess program is different from all the other programs. Shredder is the only closest competitor to Hydra. Hydra calculates 40 million positions a second, whereas Shredder can only calculate 2 million positions. And the difference in calculations is huge. Hydra